So hi, today we are going to take a look at the uh, the Google Cardboard by uh, Dodo Case. So right after they uh, they announced the Google Cardboard or Google I.O., the um, Dodo Case said that they were going to make their own version of it out of their own cardboard, source all the lenses and stuff like that. And I was very interested in that because, well, I um, didn't want to have to source all the stuff. I like buying kits because it, it makes things easier for me. So uh, yeah, I picked this up. I ordered it, pre-ordered it like right away. I'm gonna take a look at it. I'm really interested in it. I guess there are a couple other places that have that have come out with their own, and uh, and they were just the first one to to advertise it. So it's like, hey, why the heck not? Seems seems pretty cool. So let's um, bust this open. I gotta get my knife. This one's for you, Dave Jones. So we're gonna cut her open. So there we go. Uh, I think I get the version without the uh, NFC chip. I don't exactly remember. I'm gonna put this over here so we can see it on the side camera. So there we go. It's obviously a lot, I, I've looked at the website on this. It's a lot less, um, just fold it together and there it goes, than the uh, than the, the version that they had at Google I.O. I got a nice little instruction sheet. I tried to read the one on the, uh, on the website and it was a little uh, unclear. Put that right there maybe, okay. So let's open up our little guy here. Rubber band off. I'm guessing this is the rubber band that you use for the uh, hold your phone in place. So we got there's like the IP set separate. It's not unlike the the Google I/O one. It's not part of the rest of it. I think this is like the nose piece. Here's the main flappy cardboardy piece. It's it seems pretty little little on the thin side, but. Uh, it's all, uh, I think it's die cut, yeah, because there's no, there's no laser burns. I already kind of overbent it there. Got to be careful with that. Then we got our little foam baggy o goodies. So, oh, I'm guessing these are the lenses. I want to keep those protected. I uh, got some. These are stickers for the lenses. Um, oh yeah, actually, yeah, it does have the, uh, the NFC. I guess I got it with that. It is, it's five dollars more for the NFC. I thought I pre-ordered without it, but um, I guess I did. I have a, a set of tactile, so I was just gonna use that, but I'm a, obviously I ordered the one with the thing. So we got um, our magnet set up there, which is one of the really cool features of uh, Google Cardboard. And then we got a few other pieces of uh, Velcro here. So uh, we're gonna engage speed things up mode probably while I put this thing together. So um, find some, some crappy music and, and put it over it so it's not totally boring. Yep, yeah, actually. There you go, it's an NFC tag. There you have it. It's uh, hmm, looks a it seems a little bit flimsier than what the uh, the stuff at Google I/O was, but uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, went together pretty easily. A couple little foibles along the way, but um, hey, let's uh, so I'm gonna take my phone out of the case and uh, I'll pop this bad boy in there. I'm sure by now people have probably seen uh videos of people using this, but um, get my own impressions here. Pop it in there. And, uh, oh, and there it goes into the, the cutesy little, this is how you put the cardboard together. But unfortunately, I don't have the actual cardboard, so let's put that up. Oh yeah, that's, cause it's not in stereo, so it looks really weird. Can I uh, click out of this? There we go, yep, I was able to click out of it there. Oh, um, let's see here. Oh, I actually have to hold it a little bit in front of my face. But, uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's a little laggy. Uh, let's go into the tutorial. Cardboard tutorial. Yeah, it actually, I, oh, well, no, oh, there, there I was, uh, I was able to, like, kind of get my eyes to focus a little bit on the closer. Pull ring. Pull and release ring to click. 
Oh, oh, I have to do it kind of quick. Okay, I see. Tilt to get me home. There we go. So let's look around here, see what street view. Oh, Paris. What? <laughs> this is actually really cool. Holy oh, crap. <laughs> um, I mean, for something that I spent 20 or 25 dollars on this is uh the stair i'm not the, the paris one i'm not getting a whole lot of depth it's kind of hard to see um necessarily because it's moving really quick you can't like focus on anything but you can definitely like move around and see everything it just keeps like looping the same like video of driving through paris on street view let's uh go back to the the other thing here, uh, photosphere, windy day. I don't think I saw this one. Windy day exhibit. Uh, let's look at what the heck ever windy day is. Okay, it's loading. Still loading. Oh, oh wow, it's like a, a little animated. It's a little. Oh, it actually smoothed out a whole lot. It's a little laggy. But there's definitely, it's like a, a cartoon forest kind of thing. It's, it's, it, this one's kind of, this one's kind of laggy. There's sort of a weird bobble to it. It doesn't bother me too much. Uh, a lot of people it probably would. It, yeah, this is kind of jagged, but it's, it's this neat little animated forest that has, uh, there are like leaves and stuff blowing around and it's trees and the, the depth, the depth illusion is actually really cool. And uh, you tilt your head and it tilts too. Yeah, this is this one's kind of laggy. Uh, it's it's neat, but I mean it, it, it's kind of a cool uh, cool proof of concept. Let's go back to the uh, the menu here. I'm sure this looks really fascinating to see me like moving around and like commenting on stuff. Um, tour guide. Um, let's windy day. Let's see what this exhibit one is. Not exhibit the rapper. Just just ex exhibit. Oh oh, it's got a uh, oh the hawk rattle thing. Wow. Wow, that's really cool. You like look around and you can see it. You can see how I'm turning around a lot and it's the... It's kind of like it's pivoting on a pedestal. I think this is one where you can like get up and look around it a bit too. Wow, that, that's really, that's really, it's even got the bottom of the thing. That's really cool. It's like floating in space in front of me. It's like I can reach out and touch it. And you can actually look through a few different things here. So uh, this one's a mask. You look up inside of it. Oh, that's really cool. I might have some photospheres on my phone. Oh yeah, this is one. This is a photosphere that I took uh, behind work, and that is. It's not a complete sphere, so it kind of cuts off. But that's really pretty cool. It's all. It's this one's actually kind of, kind of jagged. Oh yeah, that's lagging really bad. Okay, yeah, the lag on that was. Oh, that kind of that actually kind of hurt my eyes there a bit. It's really cool to be able to see it. There's no depth to it. It's just the uh, you're just looking at a sphere with the picture. But uh, this is a little la yeah. There's there's definitely some jumps and lagginess to it. It's oh that's that's a little yeah oh, yeah that's it's neat but it doesn't work all that well. I mean it could be just limits of the processing power on a phone. I mean there's probably a lot. I probably should have closed out some of the other apps that were that were running on it. But let, let, let's let's push on. Actually, you know what? It's really interesting. Kind of a cool thing. We'll, we'll back out of this. Photocase actually had their own app that they made for Android, which is kind of cool because I don't think they really do too many things for uh, cases for Android phones. But they have their own like little uh, VR portal that they came up with. We'll start this one up and uh, see. Oh, there. It's already starting to go into the. See how it just it does like a split screen going up on a roller coaster. I can look around and actually see the the roller coaster car. Oh, that's actually really weird. I can ask. Oh man, that's actually like. It's almost like being on like a roller coaster simulator thing. I mean, it, it or or like if you've ever, like an IMAX. Movie. It's like that because you get that kind of sense of motion. Like look up, going over a loop, you can like look up back around it and. Oh yeah, I'm getting kind of, it's a little laggy just from the motion side of it, but 
I think though maybe the bigger problem is just uh, making sure your eyes focus right. It, it is a little jarring. Crazy. That's really crazy. Oh, I'm like going cross-eyed. That's maybe one of the bigger, um, I mean, maybe you have to like hold it a little bit farther out or something. I know the way that these things work is you don't have to like refocus it because of um, some kind of focus distance thing. I don't exactly know how it works. Like your eyes will naturally just basically focus to infinity. I think it works almost like the magic eye things. And I think I'm getting that same kind of uh, eyes getting a little wonky because of it. Um, so I think that might be part of the reason why people get like motion sickness when they're when they're using that kind of stuff. Um, that's really cool. I look forward to seeing like the other stuff that they come out with for this uh, in the future, at least as far as the cardboard and the VR kind of stuff. Because Google definitely proved that, I mean, you can do pretty well for VR stuff with just a phone. I've never, I, I personally haven't tried an Oculus Rift. It would be really cool too, but um, I don't know anybody that has one or I'm not, nobody locally that I know that has one, so. I would say, if you want to play around with it, buy one of these. I mean, for 20 bucks, you don't you don't get the NFC thing with it for that, but, you know, I don't think you, in my opinion, you don't really need it. Um, for, yeah, I mean, for 20 bucks, it's a neat little thing to play around with, and, you know, eventually they'll come out with something nicer for it. I mean, if you have a 3D printer like I do, you probably get some designs out there for it, but, you know, this is fun. The card, it's in the spirit of cardboard, and, and like I said, like, it's almost worth it. I mean, the, the lenses, I don't know how much they are other places, but it's almost worth it just to get those for the the twenty dollars and just to uh so you don't have to worry about it too much but uh yeah that, that's a lot of fun i would i would recommend picking one of these up like i said i think there's some other ones from uh china that you can get out there too for a little bit less but you're gonna have to wait a lot longer to get one so uh give it a try it's fun for yeah till next time uh play with your phone more